Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been in LZ Alpha for about 172 cycles now, right at the beginning of cycle 172. Today is going to be one of these episodes where we just go around and try and make sure the base is working as well as it could be. There are a few things we want to do and the first thing that I really, really want to get on with is trying to sort out the oxygen uh, situation over here. We've got ourselves a cold box, we've got ourselves some sal salty water, we've got a desalinated and we've got some electrolyzers over here and I would like to change the way that we are doing this so I'm going to get rid of all that. You can see down here I have started deconstructing all the items down this way. That's because I've decided this is not the way to do this. I was going to have a hydrogen, ga uh, a hydrogen gas pump and an oxygen gas pump and we're going to deal with them separately but there's a bunch of carbon dioxide here. It's all going to flow in as and when people come in to do stuff. Now mostly people shouldn't come in to do stuff but that will happen so a filtration system is probably on the cards here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop down to Two of these gas filters, one here and one here. I actually put that one a little bit too far over. Let's try and get that right. And these should be nice and easy to deal with. We bring this up here, we pull this across this way, and this is a waste gas. Now, this is going to be the hydrogen line, so we pull that up and go across like that. This is going to be the oxygen line, and the oxygen we actually want to be able to get to escape out of here. So I'm going to press X. That is the deconstructor, believe. Right, cool. Uh, we'll start destroying these pipes here. In fact, I'm even going to go as high as to do that, and hopefully people come along and do that as fast as uh, possible. So we've got hydrogen, we've got oxygen, and then we're going to have a waste gas. Now, the waste gas is, thankfully, uh, we can press this button here, and we're going to have have an outflow pipe up here. This is this is a waste gas pipe. Uh, I like to have waste gases around somewhere. Oh, look at this. This this is also a thing that's going to need to get dealt with today, but that's okay. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of waste gases coming through. This side over here is the worst offender. Let's have a quick look at what's going on gas-wise here. Okay, so we just don't have any oxygen coming out here. That is the problem. Okay, that's, that's something we can deal with uh, later, probably, with the output from here. I was kind of hoping people would come along and done this by now, but Mad Frank, go along and doing the deconstruct first that's that's fine i suppose that is kind of what i wanted but this is going to be the next thing that we want to get worked on you know, I think I'm even going to go as far as taking out all the automation on this side. I just don't think it's necessary. As long as we can keep one gas pump pipe going, gas pump going, sorry, then it should work out well for us. We might even want several gas pumps. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we will. Let's let's put down two of these, uh, and then we will end up having the gas go like that. I, th I think that should work out. It should, like, double stack all the gases, everything goes in, and we'll work fine. I'm going to let these guys work on this for a little bit now rather than just putting down more more tasks for them to do. Uh, I said I wasn't going to put any more down, and then I realised, actually, we need to put a little bit of power down because we can't run these systems without the power. I mean, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, we'll come along, we'll just do that, and that should work out wonderful for us. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. I want to click on this, and I want to say, hey, you, you're dealing with hydrogen. Thanks. Okay, so we've got the majority of the pipe work down. I'm going to start bringing this one over here, and I would also like to start bringing this one down. Now, this one, I'm literally just going to do this. We're going to go across, we're going to come to here, we're going to bring this down, and this is the waste gas, so we're going to go blop. Okay, and that's as simple as that. I would like to get the gas bridge to jump over here. Does that go in the right way? The arrow does indeed point in the direct, correct direction, because that is something that I get wrong quite often. And then I want to come up here, and I want to have a look at these gases over here, because I want to go through that way. I think this is the way to go with our gas. It'll come up, it'll uh, put down more suits there. I'm not sure whether I want the gas bridge actually to be here. Maybe we want to have it on this side and we can push it in that way. Uh, then we can put more atmospheric. So, you know what? I've, I've convinced myself. I've convinced myself in that short time to go ahead and do it just like that so that we can put more atmospheric suits on the end of the line. Uh, the checkpoint here, obviously the ideal place to actually have this running um, because it doesn't, it doesn't need a suit itself. Alright, now how am I going to get this coming down here without just causing a massive mess like we've got over here. I think we decided that this was the way to go. I believe. I believe. Let's come up here, and I think I'm just going to go boom, boom. Uh, that should work out for us. We are obviously going to need someone to come along and dig some of this out like that. Uh, maybe this one as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll that work out. Uh, okay, so with that in mind, grab that, press B. Uh, yeah, it did do it. Brilliant. And then we come down here. Now, there is a little bit of a problem here. One that we can overcome quite easily. Uh, it is the fact that we're going through abyssalite and the people are going to come along and dig that abyssalite and that's going to mean there's a bit more space in here than I would ideally like, but it's a thing that we can work on. And maybe we'll kill some of the slicks while you're at it. Uh, that that uh, doesn't sound great, but actually would work out well for us. All right, this is just going to... Yeah, we're just going to run this up here. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to get this up here when people need more ladders. 
I kind of like having this little puffed in the in the base here. He'll come up, he'll eat a whole bunch of oxygen, and then he'll like drop down some oxide down the bottom here, and then this will just like outgas a little bit of oxygen at the bottom, stirring all the gases up, which is nice. Why is this still not being like, hey, are you not oxygen? Yeah, why is this? You would have thought this would have triggered by now. There we go, a little bit trigger. Oh no, oh, this isn't great. Uh, so inside the place where they sleep, we are losing pressure. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. We're down to literally 60 grams in here, but this is still outputting, so it's going to take a little while to get up there. Maybe it's just the fact that they, oh no, this is the one that I want, that they were breathing it. What's it? Uh, it doesn't look great, does it? This is exactly why we're working on this down here. Soon, soon, soon as they get to it. Oh, yeah, getting the in-base pipe work done nice and quick. This is one of the best things about not needing people to go out past the uh, the atmospheric suits, is they just get to it. <laughs> this is interesting, Mad Frank crawling through there. I presume it's not germy. It's not germy. Okay, that's cool. Where is the water from this come from? It must have been when those pipes broke. People seem to be having a little bit of uh, oxygen situations here, but, you know, to Captain Subs, he likes to sacrifice himself for the great... What is he doing? Oh, is he going to breathe this bit? I don't know whether I agree with that or not. How many? How much polluted oxygen is there? Are you going to eat through it? You are literally eating through it. Hmm. I wonder if this is a way of getting rid of gases. Yeah, look, here comes Mad Frank to eat it all up as well. I mean, there is polluted oxygen, so I'm not sure that I agree wholeheartedly with them coming along to eat it, but uh, it's, it's okay, you know? It's okay. All right, people coming down this way now. Well, Shroudicus, what is your job? You are going to store polluted water. Where are you even finding polluted water? Okay, over there. That is a good job. I will agree with it. Decipher's going along doing a little bit of building. That's cool. Uh, we should have some more people in the uh, exosuits. Luna just coming back in, so that's cool. And that means there's one more out here somewhere. I'm hoping it's either Mad Frank or Miss Align, but if they are, ah, there we go. Who is this Miss Align going along and doing the work? Am I the only one that's slightly annoyed by the fact that you can't use Abyssalite to uh, make a insulated tile anymore? I, I would really like that back, if at all possible. I would like to replace the igneous rock that I rip out, uh, not the igneous, sorry, the Abyssalite rock that I rip out with more Abyssalite. That, that would really make me happy. One of the good things about building everything out of igneous rock, though, is the fact that all the materials are just lying around waiting for people to come along and grab them. I should probably have made this bunch down here out of granite, because that is what you find lying around in on the cold biomes. But all up here, igneous rock, so it's pretty nice. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it where someone's had to go put the exosuit away because they don't have enough oxygen in it. That is crazy. Literally never seen it before. Love it. Don't get me wrong. That is cool. Um... And it should just refuel almost instantly, because this, this dock here is the one with all the oxygen coming into it. So that should work out incredibly well. Uh, and someone else can come along and pick it up. All right, have we got all the gas done in here? We have. This is nice. We're getting a fair chunk of it done down this way. But, of course, down here is where we are missing the materials, the local materials. People keep coming, wanting to come over here and do the ladders over this way. I've tur recently turned all the priorities down, so hopefully this will... In fact, let's go, let's go ahead and put these up to sixes along here. Uh, and then hopefully that will mean everything gets done this way before it gets done that or that, that, that way up there. Still being told food short. It's this lot up here. It, it's really big problems with this lot. Oh, oh, it's big problems all around, actually. Let's have a look at the printer. Let's see if it's got some food for us. Fingers crossed. Murph, murph seeds. That's not quite what we wanted. Hey, look at all this liquid chlorine we've got falling down here. This is uh, one of the reasons why I've built this little chamber underneath. What I want to do is take this... Look, let's uh, make sure I'm doing it in the right way. Let's go from here, buildings. I want to take this load out here, and then I want to have a not hydrogen sensor down here. Uh, so we'll have... Uh, in fact, I'm not going to build it straight away, but in the same way that we've got the not oxygen sensors here, oxygen not uh, gas pump, uh, to pull out stuff when it's not an oxygenated environment, we want to have the same down... Ooh, I zoomed in too far. I want to have the same down here to pull all this chlorine out really. Uh, th thus keeping this all totally immersed in hydrogen and being 100% efficient. Well, it's not 100% efficient. I don't know how to get to 100% efficiency with this, but this is definitely a good start. Oh, Mad Frank, working beyond the downtime. You you've got good work ethic, buddy. Good work ethic. I love it. Oh, Mad Frank is actually a little crazy. We'll have to see what happens from that. I think it's because there's no food. Maybe it's time we started killing some of the animals. Doesn't look like we've got any of the animals to actually go ahead and kill. Uh, let's slow this down. I mean, I, I don't know whether killing what... Uh, attack? Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. 
I will actually be looking forward to destroying this gas pipe once this one gets connected so that we can start getting the pressure back up in the base. In fact, I might even go ahead and do that now and maybe even disable the uh, the atmospheric suit here so that we can just, just keep everything turning. Combat already? Okay, here we go. Misaligned going for a fight. Can we go forward, Cam? Um, I'll bring you back when we're closer, though. Okay, she picked up an atmospheric suit anyway. I'm kind of okay with that. She's climbing down the ladder. She's going to attack one of these. I wonder whether these guys are going to be angry about the fact that we are trying to attack one of their friends. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I have a feeling maybe. I don't know whether the Slicksters can attack her or not. It doesn't look like they can in any way at all. That's, um, that's brutal, actually. That's proper brutal. All right, so now we've got the uh, majority of all the pipe work done here. We've got all the power hooked up. We've got the gases hooked up, and things should start to sort themselves out. Thankfully, the waste line is one of the ones that we have uh, sorted out first, so we'll be taking stuff up and away there, and the oxygen is just going to go and wait at the end. Actually, it actually waits at the uh, gas bridge. I forgot it needs to uh, know where it's going, but that is just all dependent on waiting for these guys to finish this line up here, and that is literally what we're working on, so... Uh, Oh, yay there. Uh, uh, <laughs> Misalign has just walled them into where they were. Uh, this, this is not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. Hopefully, we can just kind of, like, dig our way out. Uh, look, there's a bunch of coal over here. That will also work out well for us. Hopefully, these guys are going to go ahead and figure out their way out, or are they going to literally just build their way out? That that would be cool if they just build their way out rather than Misalign coming along. You know what? Let's uh, let's cancel that for a moment. Let's see, let's see what they've got going for them here. Can, can they even? I mean, they are picking up more igneous rock. I assume this was stuff that got dropped. Yeah, that their escape is done. All right, good good work, lads. Good and and miss. Good work. I'm sure I told them to disable this building. Is that not something that happened? Doesn't look like that is that some, something that actually happened. Uh, it's nice that they're building, picking up the exosuits still, though, but I really need to get this lot done. You, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and going to go bam, bam. Let's just finish this, guys. This is, like, job, job most important, you know? I can definitely see us needing to move this oxygen line eventually to allow the uh, oil processing to happen. But, you know, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Oh, missile line picking up the meat. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. She only picked up, picked up a little bit of the meat. I find that very interesting. We got this far with the pipe. You can see that this is it. This is the last bit we need to do here. But, you know, night time and, like, time off and recreational activities always seem to take precedence. We also really need to get this turning because the whole time it's got liquids in it, they're cooling down and causing damage whenever they freeze. Uh, no pass without incident if you call uh, the slow drop of pressure down here no incident. So, uh, no incident. Hey. <laughs> I've just realized we're not going to be able to reach that one. So let's go in with a, uh, a nine here. One there, one there. And can we go across the top here? We can. Okay, beautiful. I'd like to get those built as soon as possible because they, they turn out to be very important. You've got, you got to have your like working structures in place before you can actually get around to building the thing. Scaffolds. Scaffolds are very important. Can we get it now? Can we get it now? We can get it now. Beautiful. This is what I want to see. This is exactly what I want. It still says it's unreachable. Does, like, Mad Frank have some sort of superpowers of arm extension? I mean, this could be actually the case. But there goes the gas pipes, and I think now this should mean, if I press the F7 over here, we have got oxygen moving. And that should mean that everything is starting to move down here, and that will be beautiful. Yeah, even some polluted oxygen. I'm fine with that. I wonder if all this uh, condensing chlorine is dragging the cold down here. That, that could be the case. That could be something that's actually going on here. I would like this manual airlock to get a slightly high prior higher priority than it does. Okay, people are coming along and working on this as well. Let's press the F7, make sure everything's still working there fine. How about any liquids? Uh, liquids don't appear to be moving, despite the fact that we've got all of these working. Hopefully when we get the more gas pumps on the go, that will be uh, mitigated there. Uh, also looking to have, like, full-sized uh, chunks go through this. You can see as we get going, they get smaller and smaller, and therefore the two will hopefully combine their packets together. That That's my hope. Anyway, that is definitely my hope. All right, up here, all of this is going into the exosuits. I love that. Well, I hope there was some... Sorry. I wish there was some way of going, hey, only go past this joint if it's overflow. Only if you've got nowhere else to send it. Please come down this way. Because I'd like to do that sort of down here, have a bridge going over, and then it will do that. But unfortunately, that's not the case. It's not something that actually happens. Because, you know, we would like to get the pressure back up in here. Uh, I think we're going to be working on it now. Because if I press the F7 here, you can see all this oxygen is literally only going to here and to here. 
here so it should re-pressurize the base. I would also like to put one there and I think I wanted to have one outside this side as well so we can start thinking about pressurizing this whole area um, and yeah that that's cool that, that that's a good good play there we've got and got got this done let's start thinking about how we're going to tidy up a few of the other areas so one of the things that i want to do as you can see here this uh, chlorine isn't quite all the way down to the bottom now it's nice that it's nice and high pressure and having the uh, airlock over here is definitely helping keep it so but this is all this carbon dioxide on the bottom so what i'd like to do is put an air photar underneath and hopefully we can start filling this bit up with, co with carbon dioxide uh all of this is basically just rubbish down here but we can definitely do it so if it's not detecting chlorine to pump to the waste pipe over here. We'll need to do two little jump bridges there, but that's no problem at all. Okay, let's let's put that in place. Good news, we are returning pressure to the millwood down here. Oh, that's beautiful. Why, why, why not you? Come on, buddy. You are definitely in the right area. It's because we've got like little lingering bits of different oxygen, uh, different gases down here. Uh, thankfully, this one doing its job to clear that out, though. Next question, when is this lot gonna get pressurized? Hopefully relatively soon. I wish there was like some sort of pressure graph up here. I don't think there is. No, the only way you can do it is really judge how deep a blue the breathable atmosphere is. But you know, that, that that's that's great, but it doesn't really give you the full full readout. Like how much pressure we got down here? That's a hundred and 100 odd grams it's the same up here yeah okay 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 something that would could do with some improvement but is actually all right do you think i kind of feel like we do we could put some airflow tiles here and here to increase oh, that one there thanks to increase the diffusion of oxygen up and into the base i i hope that's a thing that but there is a whole bunch of hydrogen here that's going to make it a little bit awkward i should probably like reseal this base off so that this, this hydrogen isn't getting pulled down into here i would like this hydrogen to actually make its way over there but uh that's not gonna happen while we've got a great big hole at the top here maybe it's time to start filling this all in maybe okay straight away for the day missile line coming down and working on our first little uh cleanup bit this is going to be set to not hydrogen as we have previously discussed and you can see all the uh gases are going to just get sent out to the waste line here for future processing and maybe throwing back down here if that's necessary I'm not sure if having the um, the automation down below here is going to lead us to a bit of a problem, but I'm hoping the fact that it's in like an open space will end up pulling all the gases past us and then the hydrogen will come into contact with that because, of course, hydrogen will float higher than whatever the lowest gas is down here and the gas pump here takes two blocks. So I, I don't know, maybe I want to move that up here to move up, move it up one block. It's tough. It's tough. If it doesn't work out, if it ends up that it's just carrying on pumping despite a layer of hydrogen being here, then we'll move it up. Okay, so before we get the automation, it is literally just pumping chlorine out of here, which is actually the job that I want it to do. It will also send any oxygen or anything like that out, but now with a single piece of automation wire, this one has been disabled. I'm also doing something very similar up here, but it looks like nobody has got onto that set of jobs yet. This, of course, will be doing pretty much the opposite of what the one down below will do. The one down below is trying to filter out chlorine. This one is trying to keep it. Okay, we have ourselves a small little bit of a problem here. It's not the biggest problem in the world. It's definitely one that we can sort out relatively easy, but we're going to need to, uh, to try and figure out how to do this as an overflow. I think maybe what we want to do is put down... Well, there's no maybe about it. What we want to do is put down a hydrogen generator somewhere down here. I think even up there will work out pretty well. And then what we can do is possibly take the gas that comes past this or perhaps past... Yeah, let's go past that one. Uh, as I say, I want it to, uh, to function as an overflow. So if we come across here, are we gonna are we gonna have troubles like this? I think we might have troubles like this. Let's do it like this instead. And we can just drag it down. Oh no, come on. Drag it out down and into that. That will work out well. And then putting the heavy watt wire across like this will hook it, hook it up to our system. I'm just gonna make sure that this actually backtracks to the battery section that I thought it did. Beautiful, beautiful. That means we can just charge it up. And of course, this will go through all of this and into this battery section that we have over here. And in fact, I might even want to make another layer yeah let's make another layer no 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 let's not let's not let's let, let's wait until we've got all this up and running uh it's asking for us to select the uh, the element here because it doesn't have anything it's just going oh not nothing yeah we've got that okay so not hydrogen this should just carry on pumping yeah okay that's beautiful if i press the f7 you see it's just removing all the chlorine uh which uh is gonna back up this system more than a little bit i, I can almost feel it i a, a little disappointed that we're seeing oxygen in this system this means that there is some out here and we just keep getting rid of it but I don't know how else to, to flood this area. We, we want to do something with all this carbon dioxide. It definitely needs to be eaten up somehow. Uh, but I'm not 
entirely certain how. Well, it seems to be working quite well, but the sort of situation that I was worried about does appear to slightly be turning up. We'll, we'll see how it works out. Uh, hopefully the hydrogen is just going to flood down into this corner, but it looks like... Let's have a look at what's being pumped out here. Is any hydrogen making it out? Not so far. But it is also now completely immersed this in the hydrogen. So I, I'm not sure exactly how we want to deal with this. But I feel like what we've got at the moment is okay. As I say, maybe move this one up one tile. But right now, looking good. Uh, I, I stand corrected. We got hydrogen in there. Not looking good anymore. Uh, let's move this gas element. Uh, I Copy that. Yeah, let's copy that. Uh, put that up there. Ooh, has it turned off? Did it just... Oh. You know what? Can't scratch everything I just said. It was a little bit of teething troubles. Just just getting its balance sorted. And now we are... Ah, we're, we're good. We're good. Look at all this hydrogen. Beautiful. I would really like this to get a little bit higher priority, though. Seven should be good enough. We'll see what comes along here. Uh, the main reason is I didn't want to miss working on this stuff down here. Look at this. Five? No, get out of here. Go along and uh, do do the builds up top. Definitely much more, much more important. Why, 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 why did you drop that? What are you doing? What's more important? Uh, eat. You need to eat. All right, fair enough. I suppose I'll allow this. It didn't scream downtime, did it? No, all right. Must be something that you need to work on separately. I'm I'm fine with that for now, anyway. You know, I'm kind of not fine with that the whole time this has been not worked on. Uh, the oxygen's not flowing. Problems. Big problems. Oh, look, the chlorine outside the door is freezing. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Wow, condensing, liquefying, whatever you want to call it. That's that's nice. That's nice. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, no, maybe, maybe not. Maybe the... Uh, Maybe the autosave's gonna steal it. Bam! Bam! Do it! This is very important, guys! Very important! Come and finish it! Come and finish it now! I, I, just, okay, fair enough. Uh, fine, I suppose this is okay. This uh, little pipe here and this little pipe here cannot be reached. So these guys have decided that they're just gonna go and do other things. Uh, Alright, I suppose that's okay. I suppose that is fine. What we really needed was Miss Alina Mad Frank down here immediately. But they're obviously going to be off doing other things now. Probably on this side of the base, making other things work beautifully. I don't know where they actually are. Who is this? Is this forest? Yeah, I'm not sure where other people are. But more things need to be dealt with. Oh, look, there's Miss Alina. She is currently going around packing things away. That is not the best use of her extreme skill set. Alright, we're going to turn off the atmospheric checkpoint here. Let's, let's see if that helps us out at all. Because uh, did I mention how important I thought this was? Uh, very important. Very important. Important. We do have some stuff flowing down here, though. It's a little bit better than it was, but man, we, we definitely need to try and get this sorted, like, right now. All right, here goes one of the pros. I'm not sure what he's going to go build, but he is going to go build. I've got a feeling he's actually going to work on the, the uh, hydrogen generator. That is good because that's the thing that's going to take the longest to build, uh, and he should totally be on it. Uh, insulated tiles, stuff like that. This is interesting. It's not quite what we're after. Uh, it, it's headed in the right direction, though. It's definitely headed in the right direction. I'm still not sure what has actually got a deconstruct here. Can't, let's just cancel that deconstruct. That, that's not important. Oh, we got actual starvation now. Oh, guys, come on, seriously, this is this is not the way it should be working. Let's kill another animal. That's that's the only way we can deal with this here is uh, killing animals for food. How old are you? You're very old. Attack. Okay, Mr. Lion coming in and doing the business. We got we got we got eggs around. This is okay. This is this is fine. This is stuff that we can uh, definitely live with. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things work out all right. Uh, maybe we want to kill this guy as well. Let's attack him. Go. How is he taking so long yet is the best at this? I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Who's coming down to uh, to attack here? It should be misaligned. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure whether the Drek are actually capable of returning fire. Yeah, it looks like maybe they are. His misaligned is taking little bits of damage. Nothing really to worry about by the looks of it, though. She's going to pick up the meat. No, I wonder who will come along and pick up the meat. Come on, come on, Mima. There we go. Beautiful. Woo. All right. Every everything should now be fine, right? Hmm. Or not. Or not. All right, I'm going to try this way instead then. We'll take the uh, the ventilation. We'll go gas pipe. We'll say yes, very important. And we'll try coming up here instead. The cypher's starting to suffocate in that suit there. We need to move him uh, up over this way. I need to keep an eye on what he's actually doing first. And then we need to uh, to move him. I want to get him uh, when he's not on the ladder. The, the reason being is that ladder users uh, have a tendency of dropping their stuff. Okay, so now that he's gone past that, just... Just drop that suit, buddy. Just drop you, you as well. Just drop that suit. All right, cool. 
Okay, how about this? Alright, this is working much better. Beautifully, beautifully. First off, it goes past the uh, the, the hydro an anti-entropy device here. That's beautiful. Uh, and then comes over here and all gets burnt up in the chlorine. And at the same time, all of this starts to feed out a bunch of oxygen. And hopefully, uh, we will start backing up with the oxygen. And if that's the case, I will then, I don't know, maybe put down another outlet over here. So it needs to back up all the way first. No, because that will take it uh, separately. That would like split half and half. Yeah, we definitely want it at the end of the line here. We'll take off at the end and go up into the base. Yeah, I think that might be a much better plan. Well, maybe actually making more hydrogen than I can consume. I mean, that that's also pretty cool. I'm just going to watch this little tile here uh, and see what happens. And uh, maybe we're exactly breaking even. Maybe we'll never come back any further than this. I mean, like this line of pipe here, where it broke backs up to, might be the same distance as this here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that, maybe that's actually working out pretty well for us. It just means we've got a little bit of a, uh, a buffer to work with. Look at this frozen chlorine right here. I love it. Oh, I love it. I don't know what's going to happen to it though. Whether it's just going to stay there, uh, helping exchange the temperature. Let's have a look. Uh, liquid chlorine thermal conductivity is still pretty low, so I'm not sure if I like it there or not. Well, would you believe this is still not actually backing up in any way, shape, or talk form? I'm going to enable that building, and we'll let people... I mean, people will have to uh, redo the... Uh, where, where, where are the two exosuit wearers? What's going on? You, Mimi, um, please, please uh, move to... I mean, you want to express yourself. That's very good. That's very good. But we need to move you somewhere. Is there a reason you're wanting to express yourself? Uh, move over here somewhere. And then when you come back, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll drop the suit, right? Now, someone else. Who is the other person? If you're on this side of the base, great. We'll just leave you running around. But if not... Maybe you're in the base? Who, oh, no, we got we got three there and one outside. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave that as working. That seems to be seems to be fine. Okay, no, we are running out of hydrogen. That's fine. That's cool. I might even go as far as uh, breaking that little bit there. I think that'll work out well for us uh, because what I want to do now is start figuring about how we're going to get the, uh, the hydrogen from here down and into this lot. We want to build a door. We want to build a temperature sensor. We want to have a whole bunch of really cool stuff over here. Well, we've gone for a reset though, have we? Let's go and have a look at what our research is currently looking like. Uh, I think... Yeah, look at this. We're getting a whole bunch of stuff. We've got this uh, this over here being researched because I want the steam turbine so we can turn all our stupidly hot water, or indeed, uh, I think up here we've got a steam geyser, into a power source. Everyone likes a power source for their pasta, after all. Okay, next thing that needs doing is going to be very extreme. We need to do this. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Because I want to move this water out of here. Uh, no longer do I want it to... Oh, that's not really best. What we want to do, in fact, is to take this out and take this out to about here. And then replace it with insulated pipe. Bam. Because we are... We're not out of water, but we're having a little bit of a water crisis right now. So we need to try and sort that out. Uh, and this is probably one of the best ways to do so. Uh, whilst I remember, let, let's send Mr. Lime back to hospital. I hate it when they drop stuff on the ladders. They wait it all the way up here and then downtime. There is a mod to stop that, but I, I kind of don't want to install any mods. I just I just don't know whether it'll affect things like my... Uh, no, it's not the database. Which one's the, the colony report? Do I get it over here? The sum, somewhere there's the one that shows me where all my achievements are. Okay, colony summary. I found it in the overview and there was a summary button in the bottom. So yeah, I'm worried that it will like, turn my turn my achievements off if I do things like that. And whilst I'm not that bothered, I, I would like to get a few of these. This one says no oxygen, despite the fact that it is very much still receiving oxygen. I think this one's going to make it down and go... Boom, and into there. And I, I don't know why I keep saying no oxygen. It's blatantly got some. So I've uh, put the super high priorities on over at the coal generator because I just noticed we were running out of power. But thankfully, this is literally just kicked back into uh, to working over here. So we should be getting a little bit of power running from this side. Let's have a look and see if we are store we're not storing any power right now. Uh, and of course, that's because... Why, why would you go down here, Decipher? Through the door? You could have just come in this way. There is a bunch of coal here. So I kind of understand. In fact, if we do that, we can let people down into this corner a little bit easier. And then we'll just lock that door and never have to worry about people going down there again i think okay how about now that it's warmed up a little bit still not enough power 
Even got Mima running on the uh, manual generator over here to try and keep it running. Okay, this this is going to be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We do have bits getting a little bit of power there, but it's really just not lasting long at all. How about if we press this? Can we watch some of the natural gases make their way down to where they need to be? And maybe that, that will uh, enable us to see what's going on there. You can see there is a bit more of a solid flow going now, so that should hopefully work itself out into a bit more of a solid flow. Okay, yeah, actually looks to be working pretty well. We've still got the food store uh, shortage as a problem, and if we go and have a look at these coal generators, they're actually turning over at all. Okay, let's go P9 instead now. Still very important jobs, but uh, not quite as important now that we've got the natural gas turning over. Mad Frank just loves to work through his downtime. I've got no problem with this. It seems to be quite advantageous to the colony, but man, you need, you need to take some time off, you know? Go, go and like, I don't know, run the, the vent through your hair and uh, in, enjoy an omelette something. <laughs> I find it very interesting that the third one is the one that's doing worse for oxygen. I would have thought it would have been this one down the very end, but I suppose these two are just splitting the, pat the oxygen equally, uh, and the third atmospheric suit is getting picked up more often than the fourth. I don't know if that's actually the case, but that's kind of uh, what I feel is happening here. Uh, and as we all know, we don't really have anything to go by other than how we feel. That's, that's entirely not true. We've got things like science to help us out. Okay, let's see what happens here. Door opens, a little bit of carbon dioxide goes in, immediately just disappears. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it got pushed back out. Uh, and the, the seal is uh, contained. Okay, this is cool. I like this. I like this a lot. This is always the weirdest bit. Look at all the zeros. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug that I need to report, whether they're aware of it, whether it's just like a side effect of the game mechanics. I'm, I'm really not sure. What I am sure of, though, is no one's building this pipe, and I want it to get built. So come on, Mr. Lion, come down here and just, just finish it off. I just want to be able to let the water drift a little bit beyond. I don't know whether it's actually going to once we pop that in there like that. Does it carry... Why is that normal liquid pipe? You know what? I should have actually really paid attention to what I was clicking on there. I thought this was a piece of insulated pipe that we've been working on, but no. I like having these two just going around doing the deliveries. Whilst they're delivering, Mad Frank can just, like, concentrate on the things that actually need building rather than, like, wasting his skills running around. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, no, Mad Frank's facing a little bit of starvation here. I'm surprised at the food shortage because we've got the Millwoods up and running again. There's a few up here that aren't quite going for it. Let's have a look at our pressurization marker here. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Uh, we'll just do what we can. Is he still continuing to have a bad time? It looks like maybe yes. Not, not ideal. How about in here? Blueprint, coal. Ah. But he picked up food. Oh, he's not starving anymore. Oh, crazy, crazy. Oh dear, what have we got here? Is this, is this by any chance some uh, chlorine being pumped out and freezing? That, that's a thing that could happen there. I didn't think about that. Do we want to insulate this? No, I think uh, maybe this bit here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have no chance of things going wrong. Just going up and across there. That that's the only bit that needs it because this door, this door does leak the cold. So we've got a couple of gradients being set up here that I'm going to find very interesting to see which one wins out. Uh, in here, we've got gas coming out at 35 degrees. That's being passed through these pipes here, thus warming up the area around. But of course, we've got this anti-entropy th uh, thermo nullifier device currently rocketing in at a minus 117 degrees centigrade. Uh, this is passing out the cold through the wall here, and you can see we've got carbon dioxide uh, condensing out in the air and coming down here, probably cooling down these pipes. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be fi finding it very very interesting. So, so far, it looks like actually the carbon dioxide is winning out. That's that's amazing. That is actually amazing. Does this mean that coming up here, yeah, look, look, look the gas lines are cold all the way up here. They're, they're still not exactly warm before it gets up and it gets put through. I'm kind of okay with it taking cold up and through this lot. In fact, we probably should have just gone straight through the middle there. Uh, but of course, the slicks not overly keen on that. Maybe maybe running up against this uh, this space heater here wasn't the best idea. But whatever, whatever, it's fine. We're warming, uh, cooling this bit down, right? Yeah. And now we've even got carbon dioxide solidifying around the machine. Ah, oh, this is this is awesome. One thing I have ignored is how much heat does this hydrogen generator produce? It's actually stood on ice, so I'm not sure if that's the best idea. Let's do that and that just to be su super certain that it's not just going to suddenly die one day where it's uh, unable to stand on anything. Oh no, once again, Mad Frank complaining about starvation as if as if not getting enough credits is a problem. Looks like all the food is going along, so as long as we can keep him turning for a little bit, it should all work out for us. He does have an awful lot of work to do down here, though, you know? 
So we've got this wonderful system on the go at the moment where Mad Frank is coming along and building the stuff. Misaligned is taking out all the local granite nodules because this is one of the things that we need to actually get hold of to carry on the building here. And then Jelly is uh, coming along doing all the supplying that he can, but occasionally uh, he gets ahead of the digging, so he, he ends up running away. But of course, as always, downtime just completely destroys what's going on. I'm going to try a little experiment down here because we've been having a problem where uh, all these little packets of gas are coming through and they're just being like completely opposite. So uh, what happens if we come for a ventilation and do something like this? Is it only going to flow through one way? Is it going to flow around multiple ways? How about if uh, actually we take it a little bit further down before we make the turn? Will, will it flow both routes? Will it not? How about if we use gas bridges? Would that also work? I, I'm just not sure how we can make them stack up a little bit better than what we've got. 600 calories in the place though. Need to work on that big time. Okay, everyone back into their respective roles down here. It's working incredibly well actually. I'm, I'm very happy with how these three are working together. Exactly as you envisioned it. Envisioned it. So that was that wonderful little section here done, but unfortunately we're now down to the situation where we can only get at two little bits of the work face at any one time. And people, duplicates are going to lose interest. They're going to uh, end up with sort of going, oh, what, what, what can we do now, boss? And they'll be like, oh, something over this way. And then they'll disappear for time at uh, 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 for time at a time, yes indeed uh, and it's going to take a little bit of a while, thankfully there are some close by jobs around so hopefully they'll get to those and not end up too far away but it's still pretty much all just dependent on Mad Frank moving on up here I don't know if this will help. I'm putting uh, little alcoves either side of the ladder and the pipe in some sort of hope that other duplicates can get in and do the work because that, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? If we could get more people around this, I would be very impressed. Okay, that didn't work out very well. How about if we go all the way up one side and expose the whole working face like that? Maybe. Who knows? We can totally make another exosuit. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a go and we'll find out how badly we'll just like fall apart afterwards. Uh, we also need some pipage if we could. Thanks very much. I'll put that down there. Oh, look, this. This is backing up. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is a good sign. This is a very good sign. This means that we do indeed actually need an extra, extra exosuit here to use up all the oxygen. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, we'll just go across like that. Thanks. So this one had 200 grams, uh, kilograms, sorry, of oxygen in it when that suit went in. Let's see what it takes to put a full charge. Of course, it is receiving oxygen from the pipe, but it'll give me a good rough estimate to know exactly how much... Exactly rough estimate exactly sorry about that uh it'll give me a good rough estimate of how much oxygen i actually need here and it turns about about 50 I, I can i can accept that about 50 grams of oxygen per day uh spread that across that'll be cool kilograms right kilograms 50 kilograms hmm, 250 kilograms of oxygen a day we should be able to do that Oh, 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 renewable research complete. The solar panel and the steam turbine. That's going to be for next time, though, unfortunately. Oh, this is for this time, and then we'll be on to next time. Oh, scolding. What, what, why are you in that boiling hot water? Get, get out. What? Oh, that was a bad plan, man. That was a very bad plan. Can we, 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 got, we got to put you in hospital. Ooh, climbing into boiling water. Okay, so we can fix this by coming in here and being like, no, 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 no one goes through that door. Stop that. All right, we've got the last pipe going into place there. I think this is now the full connection. If we come down and have a look over this way, maybe press the F6, we should have a little bit of flow. Why haven't we got flow? Because water is coming down here. That's that's not great. That's not what we want at all. Okay, so how about if we destroy that one, but instead move this into there? Uh, I'm gonna somehow actually go liquid pipe. Let's uh, let's use the full power available to us. Uh, along comes Jelly to destroy that pipe. Hopefully, all right. Beautiful. How about now? No. Okay, got a couple of hopes here. My first one is when this little bit of water gets to the end here, they actually picks up the flow comes this way. Uh, and if that doesn't help, I will then put down, I don't know, a valve or something over here to hopefully push it back in the other direction. It doesn't seem to be the way that it's working right now, which is uh, very disappointing in a deed. Okay, let's try and do this a different way. Valve, where is a liquid valve over there? I want to turn this around and put this in its place here. Okay, down below we have people digging and uh, building. Uh, so this should be one wire taken out. That's beautiful. We'll get the insulated pipe to connect that back together, hopefully. Uh, and then we really do want to uh, kind of just entice more people to <clears throat> get down here and do this again. Thanks very much, Shradicus. You are the man. 
Okay, Jenny coming along to finish up this pipe and hopefully... That, that, no, no, okay, all right. That's uh, not quite as I wanted. Uh, look, look, come back. Come, come back here. Come on, thank you very much. I'm sure you've got the powers and it is only putting a pipe in place and that, that's what we want here. If you could just fill that yellow bar up for us, do whatever it is you're actually doing with that weird bolt gun that you've got. Bam! Does, does it work? Oh, it's flowing in the right direction. It's coming out of here. Oh, yeah, there we go. And of course, this does lead us to a bit of a problem where we might end up leading, uh, running out of salt water down here. We do have all these reservoirs up here that we are slowly trying to work down into the same area. Uh, and then to, for next time, I'm going to be putting a uh, gas pipe up here, a gas pump, sorry, up here, dragging it past this thermal and uh, an anti-entropy thermal nullifier. Ooh, it's been a long, long recording session. I don't know if you can tell. Drag that down here. Chill this stuff out over here before releasing it back. Mm -hmm probably into this pipe here but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye the, the water the water flows by the way water water flowing